blue cats in river systems are not hard to locate, folks. They just ain't. In my opinion, they're one of the simplest fish to find. The main thing you're looking for, y'all excuse me, I can just go over like nobody's business, is bait. You gotta have bait in the area. Without that, forget about it. I want y'all to look. Y'all see that? Let's see what we got right here. Let's see what we got. <laughs> I hadn't been here no time, folks. Absolutely no time. My goodness, and this, this fish right here started peeling drag. I'm talking about peeling drag. This is a good one. This is a doggone good one. See all that mess right here? I was actually tying me a leader right here and get, so I could get me a couple rods ready. I hadn't been anchored here for five minutes. Not over five minutes. And this is a good blue right here. Good blue cat. Now behind me, I got gar. There's a bunch of gar in here coming up to the top of the water, but there's also some blue cat in here, obviously. And this is a doggone good one right here. Let's get her net out. I hope I brought a big enough net. I knew there'd be some big blue cat in here, but I didn't know. I didn't know how big, not really. But this is a pretty good one right here. Feel quit fighting and we'll catch him. Here he comes. This is a pretty fish. Beautiful blue cat. I want y'all to look. They. And you talking about fighting. We're going to net him right here directly when he wears out. Then we'll take a look at him. He's not wore out yet. Come on in here, boy. They. All right, we got him. That ain't a bad one. That ain't a bad one at all, folks. Oh, my goodness. To start it off with. Let me get a little water right here in this corner, and we'll take a look at him. We'll release him. Y'all, excuse me. I'm doing that to protect his slime coat. That's actually a good sized fish right there, to be honest with y'all. But we're gonna take a look at him, let him go quick as possible. Blue catfish. We're talking about locating blue catfish in a river system. A river system. Oh. Okay, y'all excuse me, that's a little bit Y'all know. Mm. Yeah. All right, folks. That's a pretty doggone good blue cat right there. Good, good one. And uh, I tell you, like I said, I hadn't been anchored here five minutes. And we're in a good area. And I don't, I'm going to explain why it's a good area or it is right now. But let's let this fish go. I like these fish grips. They'll take care of your fish for you. I guarantee you that. Let's get him back. That's a good fish right there. That won't give me a fit. The type of tackle that I'm using really is suitable uh, for the current situation we have right here. The current's not blowing out. Usually in the Tennessee River, golly, he's tw trying to twist them grips out of my hand. There he goes. He's going back in good shape right there because I released him quick. Very, very important. But let's, uh, yeah, everything's a mess right here. I just had started. I've gotten set up right here, but the thing of it is, I, I didn't have time to do nothing but just bait up, which I got shad in here. 
what I'm going to have to do is regroup and I'm going to have to get another rod out. I like two rods out at least when I'm doing this. And then I'll explain further what's going on right here. Hey, man. Woo! Okay. Y'all excuse me. There's a little bitty something wrong. It ain't bad. Okay. It ain't bad. This is an octopus circle hook, size three all. Right here, I bought 25 for 13.99. So that's gonna be what we're gonna use right here. Now, <clears throat> the offset is back. Remember when I'm either a pal, um, excuse me. Um, I'm either gonna use two knots, folks, either or. When a shank of the hook is back away from the point, this hook is designed for a knotless knot or a snail knot. Now, we're going to tie the knotless knot. It's the easiest one, and it's very, very strong. Stick it through here. Wrap around seven times. At least I go seven times because it's lucky. Lucky number. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven. Now take the tag end. What I've done now is, is cut me a, about a two foot piece of line. Run through the back side and cinch it. And that's all they are to it. That's it. Now this knot ain't going to slip. Uh, it gets loose, but it don't slip. A lot of people don't like it for the simple fact that it gets loose, but I've never had one fail me. I'm just going to cut it about like that right there. Now the reason why I'm using a 3 aw for these blues is simply because of the size of the bait that I have caught today. I didn't catch big bait, not at all. So I'm going to use about a 16 inch leader right here and then I'm going to put, uh, let's just put this knot right here because a lot of people talk about it. It's a uni knot. Just loop it and we're going to come through here five times. Five times. I'm just using different knots here lately, but y'all know my favorite is a Palomar knot or Trilene knot. But five times is good enough. Now, this is a 30 pound test leader that I'm using. Monofilament leader. Okay, it's Trilene line. And that is a strong, strong knot. It's strong. It's not as strong as a Palomar, but it's strong enough for what we're doing here today. And then I'm just going to cut it off about like that. Nothing neat. We're fishing for old catfish. Don't have to be neat with catfish. They don't care. They don't care at all. Now this is a 3 8 weight. We're in 20 feet of water right now. And hardly no current. Very little current. So I'm just going to run that line through the egg weight. And... I'm going to put this bead on here just because everybody else does. <laughs> sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And then on this one, we're definitely going to tie a trilene knot. Let's do a trilene knot just like that. That's a very, very strong knot. Very strong knot. And then cinch it up, and you got a strong situation right here. This is tied strong. If I hook a, a 60 pound catfish, we'll get him, even though I'm using medium action rods. You heard me right. I'm not fishing with great old big rods. Now, if the current was busting through here, that's where I would use my bigger rods for these catfish. But I can have a lot of fun. This is a medium action, seven foot ducket rod. And this is just a medium action, I believe that's a cadence rod. Yeah, it's a cadence rod that's seven foot long. Both of them have 30 pound test braid. Like I said, this is a 30 pound leader. So that's all we're doing. Now, as far as bait, let's get some of this organized right here. Okay. Now we might get organized. That fish hit awful quick. But as far as bait, I'll show you what I'm using. I'm just using, and I caught on that full of them too. Look at there. Gizzard shad. 
about a five and a half, six inch gizzard shad. And what I'm going to do is just hook him barely, open his little mouth, and right through his nostril. Well, hold on. Right through the tough part, just like that right there. That's all we're doing. Just like that. So we're going to go ahead and put another one over here on this one and launch them out. Now, if the fish, really, I'm going to be honest with y'all, usually what I would do right here is butter is um, what usually, to be honest with y'all, usually what I would do right here would be to cut a flapper out of this shad right here. And uh, the reason why Okay, there we go, just like that. The reason why is because it normally attracts catfish a little bit quicker. But I'm pretty well convinced there's quite a few in here. Y'all, excuse me. I'm still hyped up from catching that fish, to be honest with y'all. But the reason, now let's talk about the reason why these fish are in this 20 feet of water. There's all kinds of gar behind me. Now they're going to pasture us a little bit. But that big hook or bigger hook that I have, maybe I won't hook one because I'm not targeting gar today. It's all about blue cat. Okay, and it's on the bottom. Remember, we're in 20 feet of water. Let me set that drag where to slip, but yet hook that fish. Okay. Put it in the rod holder, and we're ready. We're ready right there. Let's do this one the same way. Now this is a neat reel right here. I have it, like I said, rigged up basically the same way. This is a 30 pound test braid. Uh, but this is a Concept Z3, 13 fishing reel. It's a, it's a big reel, really. Strong. They say that they're real good saltwater reels. Too. They can take the salt, but uh, I haven't caught but just a handful of fish on this reel, and I've had it for years. Had it for years, folks. So okay, we're on the bottom. All right, let's put it back in the rod holder. Hey, 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 hey! We got to buy it right here, folks. Look here. Look at that takedown. Y'all see that takedown right there? He let it go. Now, is that going to be a gar? There's a lot of them out here. Or is that a blue cat? I believe that's going to be a blue cat. He's hooked up. He is hooked up. That's cat. He monkeyed with that for a while, though. That fish is coming up towards the top. Catfish, oh, I can tell you that. It's blue. Usually they don't do that. Boy, he's coming straight up to the top. Look at him. Golly. Now, why he wanted to do that, I don't know. But they kind of do what they want to. They're so strong. That's the first one that's done like that. Golly, this fish is fighting. Is this a channel? If this is a channel cat, this is a big one. I believe it is a channel cat. You doggone right. Sure is. Boy, boy, no wonder he's fighting so hard. Channel cats, I put it on you, especially one this size. This is a big one. I want y'all to look right here. Sitting here in these channel cat out here too. Blues, channels, gar, every doggone things out here. This is a big old channel cat. This channel cat right here for the Tennessee River is a good one. That's why he hit it funny. Blues don't hit like that. They'll normally just golly. That might be it. That that is. That's going to be my personal best. Tell you what, I'm having a lot of fun out here. Be honest with y'all. 
a lot of fun. What a blessing. What a blessing. Quit. Don't go strong. Quit, quit. fish and channel cats are and there he goes now if it was a little bit later like oh, I'm gonna say the mid fall or winter time that fish right there might have weighed eight pounds or better it's possible that was a big long fish but these dudes right here the fish grip team catfish grips is a lifesaver i'm just proud of these i don't like to get i used to let them things chew my hands up there's a lot of shad in here that's the reason why all these gar are in here busting the top of the water this is the exact place where i caught some gar the other day big giant gar too i mean these are giants and they're feeding on shad okay the catfish is in here doing the same thing because there's so much shad. You know, I talk about that, how important bait is. Being around bait, and this is a prime example of that. Look for the shad. That's where the fish are being. All right, let's wait for a bite right here. Shouldn't be too long. Shouldn't be too long at all. I feel like there's some catfish just roaming everywhere out in here. Look a lair, 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 lair. Look a lair, lair, lair. Tumbleweed. 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 Look a lair, lair, lair. Golly, look at this, folks. Now this is a big fish. This is a big cat right here. Golly. Let's see if he's going to come up here to the surface. There he is. That's a good fish right there. Good fish. He's about the same size as those other fish. He just meaner. They don't play a blue cat when they when they when they hit it, they head straight away from you. They'll hook yourself. But this is the kind of tackle I like to use. If the current's not really roaring, I like to step down and tackle. That's really the point I'm trying to make right here. And that way you can have your fun. Instead of just winching them in with that old deep sea stuff. But now the deep sea stuff is important if the current, look at them bubbles coming up, is tough. All right. Big old catfish. I mean, a good one, folks. For this kind of tackle. <laughs> it was hard to do anything with him. He's just an extra main fish. Let's go ahead and net him. Golly bum. There he is. Alright, let's put him in the boat. This is a this is a good fish right here. This is a doggone good one. Now folks, that's a big one right there. That's a big blue. I tried to weigh him. My scales ain't working worth a darn. I believe it's the batteries. They've been in this boat for a long time. So I don't know. Y'all can guess the weight. But uh, that fish put up a battle with that kind of tackle. <laughs> Let's let him go. Folks, let's revive him. It's a big catfish. 
or for me it is and i sure do look at this as a blessing let's let him go there he goes yeah what a fight a lot of sometimes you know if the current's not real bad like right now the current's uh, pretty slow when it, uh, as far as tennessee river standards goes but sometimes a blue will go to the left or to the right in in slow current like this but now in, in heavy current most always they're going to head away from you a million miles an hour they smell the bait and they come up current towards the bait they'll they'll hit it they'll grab it or inhale it in and then head away from you but they're very aggressive that's why they're easy fish to to hook and rod holders normally so now what i'm doing is cutting a flapper rig out of them and all all you do with a flapper i've showed it before if you've never used one well i'll show you right now while while we're waiting for a bite um, a flapper rig is very effective not only for blue catfish but uh, for flathead too but all you do of course, having, you know, um, real good shad, fresh shad is the key. But all you do is fillet the fish on both sides like this. Okay. All the way up to the head and then repeat that again on the other side. It don't have to be real neat or anything like this. But what it does, it turns loose a lot of odor. Then you just, you're removing this backbone right here. You see it opens up the, the shad. And all this is just, it is attract fish a lot easier a lot of times. Or to help get them to your bait, find your bait a lot easier. But that's a very, very effective way to go about it right here. And in the current, it, and the reason why they call it a flapper shad, because in current, these two fillets are flapping, waving in the current. And that's one reason why I believe it's so effective for flathead. It looks live. But that's just my opinion. Yeah, going and I broke off. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here's another fish. Same rod, folks. We're getting a bite right here. Oh my goodness, there's the takedown, there's the takedown, there's the takedown, oh my goodness. They, you know what, we're into another fish, yet another one. Golly, this is a blue cat right here. Golly, this is a big one. Y'all look here, big blue right here. Golly, y'all see that? Golly, bum, what a fish. My, my, my. And then my some more. I'm going to try to get him back up here again if I can and net him because this fish just ain't. <clears throat> He's giving me a fit, folks. I'm going to try. I'm going to press my luck a little bit. Every time I get him to the top, he goes right back. There ain't nothing I can do about it because he's dead brain big. Yeah. Y'all see what I'm talking about, big. Let's see if we can get him in this net. That's going to be the deal. Oh, that net ain't big enough, but we got him. We got him. Oh, boom, what a catfish. What a catfish right here. This is a giant. And I ain't got no way of weighing him. But, folks, this is a true, true trophy fish right here. Okay. All right, we got the hook out. You talking about destroying a hook? Look at that hook. That's what it took for me to get it out. What a fish! All right, folks. Golly, that fish right there is big enough to pull me in. Golly. 
That fish right there is big enough to pull me in. I'm going to resuscitate that one for a while. Make sure. Now, I did that real quick. Some things I'm slow at and some things I'm quick about. When it comes to releasing fish, I'm really quick about it. Okay, let's let him go. That fish is ready. See how green he took off? That's the way to do it right there. Well, folks, that was definitely a lot of fun. I'm give out from catching catfish. However, I'm not give out from looking for holes. I believe we found us a good flathead hole right in here. We'll try it next time. I want to say God bless each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for all the great comments, everything y'all do for this channel. Y'all are appreciated. Hey. Whoa. The doggone birds has been everywhere today. I've seen birds. I've seen little old butterflies and everything. Whoa! And remember, go fishing when you can because it's good food.